What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote. And maybe you can have me at your next event. (laughs) And you can sing for me. Yeah, I do karaoke shows too. Weddings and parties and corporate events and all that kind of stuff. All the usual stuff you'd want some good music playing at. You know, I conform to you. I become who you want me to be. I'll play the music you want me to play. I'll be the entertainer that you want me to be. I conform to you. Speaking of you, if you would like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. But for today, let's learn together on What Makes You Smarter. What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com. DJLittleRock.com Check availability and get a free price quote Right there And maybe you can have me entertaining you At your next event Let me entertain you Uh, And if you'd like to tell your story I encourage you to check out my other podcast What Makes You Famous Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous Let's learn some stuff right here on the program Now, on with the show Today on the program, 10 things you need to know today for Thursday, June 11th, 2020. 10 things you need to know today. Number one, Trump opposes renaming bases after Confederate generals. President Trump on Wednesday rejected calls to rename U.S. military bases named after Confederate generals, a demand that has picked up steam as protests against racial injustice grow around the nation. Quote, Our history as the greatest nation in the world will not be tampered with, end quote, Trump tweeted. Civil rights activists, with the support of some former military officials, are pressuring the government to change the names of such installations as Fort Bragg and Fort Benning, saying they glorify generals who led the fight to preserve slavery in the Civil War. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, called for removing 11 Confederate statues from the Capitol. Protesters toppled a statue of Confederate President Jefferson Davis in Richmond, Virginia. This is according to the Washington Post and ABC News. Number two, coronavirus cases reach 2 million in U.S. The number of coronavirus cases recorded in the United States surpassed 2 million on Wednesday, with about 113,000 deaths, according to Johns Hopkins University. The pandemic's toll is continuing to rise as some of the states that started reopening their economies earliest experienced surges in new infections. South Carolina's upward trend continued on Wednesday, with new positive tests surpassing 500 for the third time in five days. A month into its reopening, Florida has reported 8,553 new coronavirus cases this week in its worst seven-day period yet. Texas's hospitalizations rose by 6.3% to 2,056, the most since the outbreak began. Quote, there's a new wave coming in parts of the country, end quote, said Eric Toner, a senior scholar at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. This is according to the state and Bloomberg. Number three, George Floyd's brother urges lawmakers to stop the pain. George Floyd's younger brother, Philanese Floyd, testified before the House Judiciary Committee on Wednesday, telling lawmakers that his brother, quote, didn't deserve to die over $20, end quote and urging them to take action to, quote, make sure that his death will not be in vain, end quote. Floyd's death in Minneapolis police custody sparked more than two weeks of protest against 
police brutality targeting African Americans. Quote, they lynched my brother, end quote, Philanese Floyd said. His testimony came a day after George Floyd's funeral in Houston and on the first day of the committee's hearings on racial justice and police reform legislation House Democrats are proposing. Quote, George called for help and he was ignored. Please listen to the call I'm making to you now, end quote, Philanese Floyd said. Quote, stop the pain, end quote. This is according to Reuters and the Associated Press. Number four, Trump to return to campaign trail June 19th in Tulsa. President Trump will hold a rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma on June 19th, a campaign official said Wednesday. The rally will mark Trump's return to the campaign trail after a pause due to the coronavirus crisis, which began in early March. As COVID-19 cases mount in some areas and protests against racism and police brutality continue. Polls show former Vice President Joe Biden, the presumptive Democratic nominee, increasing his lead over Trump as the president's approval ratings fall. Trump's rally will take place on Juneteenth, a holiday commemorating the end of slavery in a city with a history of racial violence. In 1921, a white mob attacked black residents in Tulsa's Greenwood District, burning down their homes and businesses. When it was over, 35 city blocks were destroyed, and historians estimate that as many as 300 people were killed. This is according to the New York Times and The Guardian. Number five, former judge calls DOJ to dismiss Flynn charges abuse of power. Former federal judge John Gleason said on Wednesday that the Department of Justice's move to dismiss charges against former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was, quote, a gross abuse of prosecutional power, end quote, that was politically motivated. U.S. District Judge Emmett Sullivan asked Gleason to analyze the case after the DOJ sought to clear Flynn's charges. Gleason said Flynn should still be charged and sentenced. Flynn pleaded guilty in 2017 to charges of lying to the FBI, but recently sought to withdraw his plea, saying he was pressured into giving it. The DOJ sided with Flynn, but Gleason called it an unconvincing effort to disguise as legitimate a decision to dismiss that is based solely on the fact that Flynn is a political ally of President Trump, end quote. This is according to the Washington Post and Politico. Number six, Fed projects unemployment will fall to 9.3 percent by year's end. The Federal Reserve on Wednesday projected the U.S. unemployment rate will fall to 9.3 percent by the end of the year. The Fed is anticipating a 6.5 percent unemployment rate by the end of 2021. May's jobs report showed the unemployment rate unexpectedly declined to 13.3% from 14.7% as states reopened, despite expectations that it would climb to nearly 20%. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell noted it, quote, remains historically high, end quote. However, the unemployment rate was at a 50-year low of 3.5% in February before the coronavirus pandemic. Powell said the Fed would do, quote, whatever we can and for as long as it takes, end quote, to help the economy recover from the crisis, suggesting the U.S. Central Bank will leave interest rates near zero for the foreseeable future. This is according to the Washington Post and the New York Times. Number seven, NASCAR bans display of Confederate flag. NASCAR on Wednesday said it would ban the display of the Confederate flag at its races and tracks effective immediately. The auto racing organization released the statement after more than two weeks of nationwide protests against police brutality and racial injustice touched off by the killing of an unarmed and handcuffed black man, George Floyd, in Minneapolis police custody. The ban also applies to fans, competitors, and anyone else involved in the industry. Prior to the announcement, driver Bubba Wallace, the first full-time African-American driver in the top flight Cup Series since 1971 had called for NASCAR to get the Confederate flag, quote, out of here, end quote, saying there is, quote, no place, end quote, for it in the sport. This is according to Yahoo Sports and NASCAR. Number eight, Trump campaign demands CNN apology for polls showing Trump behind Biden. President Trump's campaign demanded an apology and retraction from CNN for a poll released Monday that showed presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden leading him 55% to 41% among registered voters. The survey also put Trump's approval rating at 38%, his lowest since January 2019. In a cease and desist letter sent to CNN, President Jeff Zucker 
The Trump campaign called the survey, quote, a stunt and a phony poll to cause voter suppression, stifle momentum and enthusiasm for the president, end quote, and downplay his support using a, quote, biased questionnaire and skewed sampling, end quote. CNN rejected the campaign's demands, quote, we stand by our poll, end quote, said Matt Dornick, a CNN spokesman. This is according to CNN. Number nine, Trump demands Seattle crackdown. Mayor says, go back to your bunker. President Trump tweeted Wednesday that, quote, domestic terrorists have taken over Seattle, end quote, where authorities have boarded up a police station and allowed protesters to establish what they call the, quote, Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, end quote, quote, take back your city now, end quote, Trump wrote, addressing himself to Mayor Jenny Durkin and Governor Jay Inslee, Democrat, quote, if you don't do it, I will. This is not a game. End quote. Durkin responded with a tweet saying, quote, make us all safe. Go back to your bunker. End quote. Trump's call for a Seattle crackdown came as more than 1,250 former Justice Department workers called for an internal watchdog to investigate Attorney General William Barr's involvement in the use of pepper balls, tear gas, and horses to push back mostly peaceful protesters outside the White House last week. This is according to the New York Times and the Washington Post. Number 10, Amazon temporarily bars police from using its facial recognition software. Amazon on Wednesday announced that it was banning police use of its facial recognition software for one year. The online retail giant made the move as tech companies faced pressure to respond to the rising calls for police reform following the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis police custody. Quote, we've advocated that governments should put in place stronger regulations to govern the ethical use of facial recognition technology. And in recent days, Congress appears ready to take on this challenge, end quote. Amazon said in a statement, quote, we hope this one year moratorium might give Congress enough time to implement appropriate rules, end quote. The House Committee on Oversight and Reform has held hearings on the use of the technology, but has yet to propose a bill regulating it. This is according to CNBC. That's 10 things you need to know today for Thursday, June 11th, 2020. Thank you so much for listening. I hope everybody out there is doing reasonably well. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you're up to in this time. I really want to know. Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. That's it for me. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher. Google Podcast and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite, learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Call 501 470 6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal.me forward slash keys dan. Email info at radiowhat.com. What Makes You Smarter is a production of Keys Dan Enterprises Incorporated at keysdan.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcast, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite. Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag, What Makes You Famous. Call 501 
646-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys thank you for listening